Live from Nigeria's financial epicenter, Lagos, I am Boston Amafaya with Business Morning this Tuesday, the 13th of June. A warm welcome to all our viewers here in Nigeria and around the world. The biggest story from Main Street to Market Street in the last 18 hours was the liftoff of the 2017 fiscal appropriations as the acting president, Professor Yomi Shibajo, signs the 7.44 trillion narrow budget document. In a 37-paragraph statement you read after the signing ceremony, the acting president speaks to a few key issues around the 2017 budget, and in particular, a return to a predictable, quote-unquote, budget calendar year of January to December in line with the organized private sector. Let's take a listen to the acting president. In our discussions with the leadership of the National Assembly, we have jointly resolved to return to a predictable January to December fiscal year. It is a particularly important development because this accords with the financial year of most private sector companies, underscoring the crucial relationship between government and the private sector. Therefore, on the understanding that we will be submitting the 2018 budget to the National Assembly by October 2017, the leadership of the National Assembly has committed with us to working towards the passage of the 2018 budget into law before the end of 2017. I must once more express my appreciation for the leadership of the National Assembly for the collaborative spirit in which these discussions were conducted. The 2017 budget which I'm signing into law today is christened the budget of economic recovery and growth. And it reflects our commitment to ensuring strong linkage between the medium term economic recovery and growth plan, ELGP, recently launched by His Excellency President Mohamed Buhari and the annual budgets. It is designed to bring the Nigerian economy out of recession onto a path of sustainable and inclusive growth. The budget has, has a revenue projection of 5.08 trillion naira and an aggregate expend, expenditure of 7.44 trillion naira. The projected fiscal deficit of 2.36 trillion naira is to be financed largely by borrowing. Let me assure those who have expressed concern about the growing public debt that we are taking several actions to grow revenues as well as plug revenue leakages. This is because notwithstanding the fact that our borrowings are still within sustainability limits, we are determined in the medium term to reduce our reliance on borrowings to finance our expenditure. Details of the budget as approved by the National Assembly will be made available by the Honorable Minister of Budget and National Planning shortly. As you're all aware, our economy is already signaling a gradual recovery as growth is headed towards positive territory. First quarter GDP at minus 0.52% compares favorably with minus 2.06% in the first quarter of 2016. Inflation is declining down to 17.24% from 18.74% as of May 2016. Our external reserves are now at 30.28 billion US dollars as of June 8, 2017, up from 26.59 billion US dollars as of May 31st, 2016. We are also gradually instilling confidence in our exchange rate regime. This improvement in GDP growth and other macroeconomic indicators is largely attributable to our strategic implementation of the 2016 budget, as well as stronger macroeconomic management and policy coordination. I'm confident that the 2017 budget will deliver economic growth and prosperity one that is self-sustaining and inclusive. In this regard, the 2017 budget will be implemented in line with our economic recovery and growth plan. Over the 2017-2020 plan period, we are focusing on five key execution priorities, namely one, stabilizing the macroeconomic environment, two, agriculture and food security, three, energy sufficiency, 
especially in power and petroleum products. Four, improve transportation infrastructure. And five, industrialization through support for micro, small, and medium scale enterprises. The 2017 budget includes provisions that reflect these priorities. To demonstrate our commitment to following through our economic recovery and growth plan, the 2017 budget allocates over 2 trillion naira to capital expenditure, principally infrastructure. For instance, we are committing over 200 billion to improve transportation infrastructure, such as roads and rail, and over 500 billion for investments in works, power, and housing and 46 billion for our special economic zone projects to be set up in each geopolitical zone. The signing of the budget today will trigger activities in the domestic economy, which will lead to job creation and more opportunities for employment, especially for our young people. And as I indicated earlier, we'll be returning to the National Assembly to seek upward adjustments by way of violence in relation to a number of critical projects which have received inadequate provision in the budget just passed by the National Assembly. We acknowledge that government alone cannot achieve the overarching goal of delivering inclusive growth. This is why the 2017 budget provides a lot of opportunities for partnerships with the private sector. To help the private sector thrive, we are determined to create an enabling business environment we're already recording verifiable progress across several areas, ranging from a new visa on arrival scheme to reforms at our ports and regulatory agencies. The online business registration process has reduced time required for business registration from 10 to two days. It is expected that the executive order on transparency and efficiency in the business environment will make it even easier for investors to get permits and licenses that they require for their businesses. Pursuant to our commitment to the Open Government Partnership, we recently issued an executive order that will promote budget transparency, accountability, and efficiency. We want to make the federal budget work more efficiently for the people. Thus, beyond the huge provisions for investments in critical infrastructure, we have mandated government agencies to spend more of their